Touch CS4, and these are 3D effects. So I'm going to ask you to open up 3dpuck.fla in the Part 6 underscore special effects folder. And here you'll see an instance, if we open the library, of symbol 1 that contains the puckthumb.jpg image. Right? And here we see it normally, and here we see it two versions of that same symbol instance distorted in 3D space. How did we do that? Well, I can delete these two. Now I'll select Puck and I'll hit Command D to duplicate him. And now I have a new instance of symbol 1 and here we can select the 3D rotation tool. And I'll zoom in, Command plus, and the 3D rotation tool brings up an XYZ distortion tool. So now I can click on these axes and start distorting the instance of the symbol in three-dimensional space. Now I don't have to only rely on this tool. Now some of you may be comfortable with a tool like this, some of you may not be. If you are not, you can access the same options in the transform panel. So we'll select window transform to bring up the transform panel and you can see here now we have the 3D rotation options set so if, it, if I wanted to manipulate Puck's rotation in Z space I could do so here by clicking and dragging so that's 3D transformation we also have 3D translation so 3D transformation is rotating the symbol instance in 3D space 3D translation, which we for which we use the 3D translation tool, is moving the symbol instance in 3D space. So now I can click. So now I can position my cursor so that I see a Z beneath it, and clicking and dragging will adjust the symbol instance in Z space. I can click on the other axes as well to adjust here in X space, and you see it's, it's adjusting everything proportionally to the 3D perspective. So it's not just moving Puck horizontally, it's moving him horizontally or rather along the X axis in 3D space. And similarly I can affect the Y position. Also using the 3D translation tool I can adjust the center point of Puck relative to the 3D space in which he is being mapped. So if I so if I click on the center here of Puck but not where the Z is visible, you can see now I've moved the 3D uh, axis on which Puck is being judged and now if I use the rotation tool you'll see I get very different outcomes. Now this looks pretty cool on its own. Of course, it'll become even cooler when we start working with animation inside of Flash.